My name is Ravi Kumarty. So today I am explaining about how to write the velocity triangle for symmetrical blades. Okay, symmetrical blades means inlet outlet diameters is same. Okay, so here uh, this is a symmetrical blade. Okay, so before writing the symmetrical blade velocity triangle, first we shall we should know what are the velocity components. Okay, so first if the water is coming out of the nozzle. Okay, water is coming out of the nozzle, so that velocity is called as a absolute velocity. That is a V1. Okay, so V1 is absolute velocity. Absolute velocity. Okay, see if V1 you need to resolve in three mutual perpendicular direction, you will get Vr1, you will get V omega1, or you will get Vu1. Okay, next Vf1 or Va1. What is this thing? Okay, so first Va1. Here we'll be having three directions. One is a radial, tangential, and axial direction. Okay, radial direction. So radial direction you'll get relative velocity component. Relative velocity component of absolute velocity. Component of absolute velocity. absolute velocity next one is tangential tangential component of absolute velocity next is axial axial component of absolute velocity okay see as we need to know the what is the axial direction what is the tangential direction what is the radial radial component or relative okay radial what is radial see axial means is parallel to the axis of rotation tangential means perpendicular to the axis of rotation radial means along the radius of curvature okay along the radius of curvature or perpendicular to the axis of rotation so this is about the you know different types of components so axial tangential and radial okay so you'll see the v1 v1 is absolute velocity which is coming out of the nozzle okay so we'll see nozzle is v1 is coming out of the nozzle where it is hitting so it always it hitting the tip of the blades okay so absolute velocity v1 is always hitting the tip of the blade see this is the tip of the blade okay this is the tip of the blade we'll write the inclined line okay so from the nozzle inclined line up to a tip of the blade okay so we'll write up to a tip of the blade inclined line okay so this is your v1 okay so next what is a vr see vr please always remember this is a always tangent to a blade profile okay this is always tangent to a blade pro periphery sorry blade profile it's a tangent to a blade periphery so it means that we'll take tangent to a blade periphery blade periphery we'll take like this okay so we'll take tangent to a blade so i'll use some different uh, see this is a tangent to a blade periphery so this is your vr1 okay always v1 and with respect and before that we need to know the direction means tangential speed tangential speed is u see this is very very important u u is tangential speed or tangential velocity tangential speed or tangential velocity okay so this is always moving with left to you know is always moving it right to left so i'll mention u here okay so if you mention u there then this from here to here i'll draw same parallel line okay here to here this is also u okay so with respect to tangential speed uh, then absolute velocity angle will be alpha 1 okay next with respect to tangential velocity and we are the angle base beta 1 then you need to know what is alpha 1 and what is a beta 1 so please remember alpha 1 is always fixed blade angle or rotor state of blade angle or nozzle angle you going to call fixed blade angle state of blade angle or nozzle angle beta 1 is is also called as a blade angle rotor blade angle moving blade angle okay with respect to vr and u is always okay so we'll see uh, you know these are the components so first use this u and draw parallel line draw parallel line here 
okay he'll draw parallel line so this is moving the u okay after that then use vr use vr again draw parallel line again draw parallel line okay like this so this is your vr one and this is your beta one okay with the help of parallelogram i have drawn a you know this is a parallelogram so with the help of this parallelogram principle so i have drawn this okay so next this is your you know inlet velocity triangle and inlet velocity with respect to parallelogram here you will get the two type one is a upper velocity triangle other one is a lower velocity triangle okay so we'll consider first lower velocity triangle if you consider lower velocity triangle it it will be look like this just imagine it will be look okay u from the tip of the one side tip of the u you will get you will get v you will get v and then other one you will get other one you will get vr other one you will get vr okay see so should just mention the angle this is alpha 1 and this will be u this is v 1 and this is vr 1 and this angle is beta 1 see i have taken a lower velocity triangle here okay so still this velocity triangle is not completed okay so i already told you need to resolve v1 in a three mutual perpendicular direction if you resolve three mutual direction you'll get vr1 v omega 1 and vf1 here we, you have already vr okay next you wanted to get v omega 1 and vf1 okay if you resolve this see if you resolve v1 if you resolve v1 you'll get one is a horizontal component other one is a vertical component okay other one is a vertical component so this will be moving downward and this will be moving right to left okay so always vertical direction is vf1 horizontal direction is v omega 1 okay so just i'm taking from you know from here this to a parallel line up to here okay so i'll complete this profile okay complete this profile this is vf1 and whatever v omega 1 is there in the top okay i'm just writing in the bottom okay so this is your v omega 1 and this is your u okay so this is your inlet velocity triangle inlet velocity triangle okay now and you must think about the direction see always the direction tends towards always the direction tends towards v1 okay so tends towards v1 means v1 is equal to vr1 plus u is a vector addition okay v1 is equal to vr1 plus u okay you need to follow this vector vr1 plus u okay u1 okay now this is about the inlet velocity triangle okay similarly how to write the outlet velocity triangle see outlet velocity triangle first first you need to uh, write the vr vr is a tangent of vr is a tangent periphery of tangent to a periphery of blades so i'll take vr 2 okay next v1 is what next stage in that of state of blade okay so v1 you'll get like this v2 sorry so this is your v2 okay and this is your u u is always move in a right to left okay and then this angle should be beta 2 this angle should be alpha 2 see with respect to u and vr2 is always beta 2 u and alpha 2 is always you know with respect to v2 you'll get alpha 2 okay now so next i'll take u parallel line downward i'll take parallel line downward so this is your u2 okay if it is same i'll take u only okay u next you draw same or is i know parallelogram this side 
okay so this is your v2 okay now again i have to consider lower velocity triangle so this is your lower velocity triangle this is your upper velocity triangle if you consider lower velocity triangle you'll get the outlet is you'll get outlet so first you'll get vr2 first you will get vr2 then you will get v2 okay so this is if you expand the lower velocity triangle you will get like this this is vr2 and here it is beta2 this is v2 and here you will get alpha2 and then this is your u okay so what you we wanted to resolve v2 right if you resolve v2 again you will get you will get one is a vertical component other one is a horizontal component okay so this is your v omega 2 and this is your v f 2 okay so i'll draw parallel lines see so this i'll take again downward okay i'll take downward i'll mention here so from here to here you will get v omega 2 okay this is your outlet velocity triangle okay so this is outlet and this one is inlet velocity tri outlet velocity triangle okay so this is your outlet and inlet velocity triangle for symmetrical blades and one more thing so when it is applicable when it is applicable that is one of the major important parameter okay when it is applicable okay so it's always it is applicable you know cos you know, vr2 into cos beta2 okay should be greater than u okay and you know this is the applicable for uh, this thing and one more thing the beta2 should be less than 90 degree if beta2 should be less than 80 degree then this velocity triangle is applicable okay and here majorly important the direction see this direction is moving this side and this direction is be moving this side okay these two see v omega 1 and v omega 2 is both are in opposite direction okay if both are in opposite direction what is the inverse of an equation and one more thing the students will do mistake here for taking a v omega 1 and u see please keep it in mind always u is between tip of the v1 and tip of the vr1 okay u always u is tip of the v1 and tip of the vr1 what about v omega 1 is always tip of the v1 and tip of the vf1 is always v omega okay here also see tip of the vr2 and tip of the v2 is u tip of the vf2 and tip of the v2 is v omega 2 okay and next another one is angle see with respect to v1 you will get alpha 1 with respect to vr1 you will get beta 1 with respect to vr2 you will get beta 2 with respect to v2 you will get beta alpha 2 okay please don't confuse here okay very simple steps you can easily write the velocity triangle so no need difficulties you can easily write the velocity triangle with the help of parallelogram principle okay thank you